Hello and welcome back to Creative Cat. This is the next project of cardboard wall decor series. I'm using this L-shaped cardboard and these are the dimensions. I'll need one more piece same as this. A simple trick of cutting these cardboards is cut the big piece of 21 inches by 9 inches. Leave 4 4 inches here and cut out this part. Now I'll line the cardboard pieces with masking tape. I made this flower designs on this normal rough paper. I'm going to use some more cardboard pieces to make flowers. Using carbon paper, I'll trace the design on the cardboard. You can also draw it directly on the cardboard. Cut out the flowers. I'm using double cardboard for each flower as it will make it strong and it won't let it paint. Let's stick the flowers on the L-shaped cardboard frame. Here I am mixing 2 teaspoon of plaster of Paris, 2 teaspoon of white glue and 2 teaspoon of water. Make a smooth paste and give a thick layer of this paste on cardboard. Again, I am tracing the same design. Here I am using this gesso or primer. This is my homemade one. You can find tutorial link in description box below. I'll mix some more plaster of Paris or calcium carbonate to make it little thick. Instead of this paste, you can also use a ready-made texture paste like this. Or these are the other options which are easily available and really affordable like joint compound, spackling paste or wall button. Using the palette knife, I'll make the petal texture. You may need little practice for this.
these are small stones i'm going to use them to make the center of the flower Follow the same procedure for other two flowers. If you find making the petals with palette knife a little tricky or difficult, then here is another easier way of doing it. Fill the same paste in the cone and you can make texture like this. You will find full tutorial for this project on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'll give the link in description box. And here is a final outcome. Now let's get back to our today's painting. I'm using acrylic paints for painting. For center of the flower, I am using different procedure today. I am going to use gold leaf. Here you can use a gilding glue or white glue. Just brush it lightly. This is the gold leaf. Carefully put it on the center of the flower. I normally dab it with foam. Now take a dry brush and take out the excess gold leaf. Here I did it with all three flowers and now let's paint the background. I'm using black, gray and little white for background.
and it's done. You will only need double-sided tape as it is so lightweight. So that was the video guys. Let me know how you like it in comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Bye-bye.